Pull my lever. Pull your lever? Pull the lever, crunk. What does that mean, pull my lever? Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 underrated snatch game performances on RuPaul's Drag Race. Well, RuPaul, I've written 17 books, 19 plays, 13 autobiographies, and two Hallmark cards. <laughs> and it recognizes your phenomenal woman. For this list, we're looking at the best impressions from this iconic challenge that were either underappreciated by the judges or underdiscussed in the fandom. However, we'll only be counting performances from the American series and its All-Stars spin-off. Which of these performances deserved better? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Alexis Mateo as Alicia Keys. Grammy winner, Alicia Keys! <laughs> this future All-Star could dance the house down, but she also had serious comedy chops. We saw this firsthand thanks to her impression of the soulful chanteuse who gave us hits like Girl on Fire. Now, Alicia, a uh, little birdie tells me that you've got a secret to tell us. Yo, I am pregnant and I am fierce. Oddly enough, many of Alexis's jokes relied on flirting with guest participant Amber Rose. And while it came out of nowhere, this shtick made her performance funny. Alicia Keys, let's see if you match Amber Rose. I match you, Amber. Yes, Completely. Yes. Psycho Sally, what does she do with her dates? She gives them the number. <gasps> Call me, baby. <laughs> I'm just waiting for you. From giving out her phone number to teasing a new song about the star, she had both Rose and RuPaul cracking up. The judges did appreciate her take on Alicia Keys, but it arguably isn't as well remembered as it should be. Number nine, Jackie Cox as Lisa Rinna. I take Harry Hamlin's big vitamin D. <laughs> he went right up in my Melrose place. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Have you met Harry Hamlin? Uh -huh. My husband, Harry Hamlin. Yep. Sure, Gigi Good's take on Maria the Robot was both creative and instantly memorable, but Jackie Cox's impression of Lisa Rinna shouldn't be forgotten either. She not only nailed the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star's look, she also had her mannerisms and side hustles down pat. I was talking about Cardi B earlier, and I remembered I am wearing a Cardi Gan. This is my Lisa Rinna duster. <laughs> she gabbed nonstop about her husband, Harry Hamlin, held her wine glass high, and showed off a garment in a nod to her appearances on QVC. Jackie's success isn't all that surprising, though. After all, she once got to practice in front of Rinna herself on Watch What Happens Live. She has got her Lisa Rinna collection, her HSN. She is, she is owning it. Number eight, Violet Chachki as Alyssa Edwards. I'm Alyssa Edwards, and this is Snatch Game. Season seven Snatch Game was full of memorable performances. We'd say both Kennedy Davenport as Little Richard and Ginger Minge as Adele were instant classics. Where in England are you from, Adele? My house. <laughs> However, Violet's pitch-perfect rendition of season five's Dancing Queen deserves more praise. You know, I've always wanted to ask you, Alyssa, what is your secret? I'm sitting on it. She teased her hair, modulated her voice, and of course, popped her tongue. In other words, she truly embodied Alyssa Edwards. The dynamic duo converts the Batcave into a... A dance studio, baby. Although we were cracking up, Rue didn't seem to find the impersonation all that funny in the moment. Indeed, she was declared safe on the main stage and didn't receive a critique. Impressions of personalities from the show don't always work. Just ask Max. Have you been to any good seances lately? I just got back from one. <laughs> but Violet showed us all how it can and should be done. Number seven, Chi Chi Devane as Eartha Kitt. Eartha Kitt. Instead of huffing and puffing and blowing, she blanks the house down. She licks the house Ooh, down. Ooh, licks the house down. The late, great Chi Chi Devane never failed to light up our screens during her two drag race appearances, but one of her greatest successes went underappreciated. Her choice to lean into Eartha Kitt's iconic Catwoman role was completely memorable, with the queen taking on some feline traits herself. Speaking of lick, it's time for my bath. What? Oh, you. Oh. <laughs> Not every one of her competitors cared for her performance, but she consistently had RuPaul laughing, and that is the name of Snatch Game. But I said big furry balls. How big is your big furry balls? Honey, get your mind out of the gutter. Chi Chi didn't solely rely on animal humor either. 
She also had quick-witted responses to Rue's prompts. You're not wearing any panties, are you? Who wears panties? What are those? <laughs> Suffice it to say, we were shocked that she was merely declared safe. Number 6. Shea Coulee as Naomi Campbell You don't look a day over 16. And I don't taste a day over 15. <laughs> Impersonating a fashion titan like Naomi Campbell is intimidating enough on its own. But doing it on the notoriously high-stakes Snatch Game is another feat entirely. Was Shea Coulee's English accent flawless? Perhaps not, but that's beside the point. When I got here to set, your crew confiscated my phone, but luckily my good friend back here had a little prepaid cricket phone that she let me <laughs> borrow for, for the afternoon. Chris Rock, thank you so much for that. She tapped into some of the supermodel's most famous controversies, with jokes about a cell phone and Campbell's ostensible rival Tyra Banks' modeling career. I thought about Tyra Banks' modeling career, so I just said, the toilet. <laughs> Plus, she demonstrated an ability to volley with RuPaul, which is a crucial part of the challenge. Sadly, she barely got any airtime. Considering Shay's incredible take on Flavor Flav and All Stars, we wonder if there was more to be seen. What they normally notice is my big, fat, 14-inch clock. <laughs> you know what time it is? No, really, I'm asking. My clock's been stuck on 420 since 1985. Number five, Aja as Crystal LaBeja. Star of the Queen, Crystal LaBeja. Rue, where's Sabrina? I will sue the bitch, darling. <laughs> to be fair, Aja did receive praise from the judges for her impression of the House of LaBeja founder. Crystal LaBeja from the legendary House of La Beja. The founder, the mother, the creator, I am everything, and I know I'm beautiful, I don't need anyone to tell me. But considering how hilarious it was, we were disappointed that we didn't see more of her during the challenge itself. For one thing, she had the icon's look down to a science. On top of that, she nailed the facial expressions and tone of voice that made Crystal's segments in the documentary The Queen so memorable. And the bonus footage posted to YouTube showed that Aja had much more to bring to the table. I have better things to do, but I'll come compete. Even though Monique called me and told me not to, she said, none of the true beauties are going to be there. And darling, she was right. If you ask us, this talented performer deserved a spot in the top two. Number four, Monet Exchange as Maya Angelou. Maya Angelou. Hello, RuPaul. Do you know why the cage bird sings? I've always wanted to know. Why does the cage bird sing? Because Mariah Carey lost the key. This season's Snatch Game had some powerhouse impressions, with Aquaria embodying Melania Trump and Eureka tackling Honey Boo Boo. So it's all too easy to forget that Monet was equally hilarious. And it shouldn't come as a surprise given her witty and engaging personality. Importantly, her inventiveness stood out above all else in this signature challenge. She actually wrote a poem, and it was genuinely funny. If these hoes try to come for me, <laughs> I surely will cut thee. I will not hesitate to put thou in a ditch, because Maya Angelou ain't no punk bitch. Plus, she was quick to improvise, throwing some good-humored shade at competitor Monique Hart. Poor woman can barely speak English. What's a disgusting thing? Hey, you, Dan. Like dust till I rise. <laughs> Though she was praised by the judges for her clever take on Maya Angelou, we think Monet could have snatched the win. Number three, Sasha Velour as Marlena Dietrich. The brainy Sasha Velour did this queer icon and legend of the screen justice, which is no small feat. Yeah. You know, when I wear a suit, people say, Marlena, are you a lesbian? And I look at them and I say, Yes. With body language that read as simultaneously robotic and sultry, she captured Dietrich's physical mannerisms perfectly. But it was the one-of-a-kind jokes that really set the performance apart. The wordy lines were often bizarre, but always unique. We don't know if we'll ever hear such statements again. I promise that Teutonic bisexuals make them the most forceful and unforgettable lovers. In the span of a few minutes, Sasha's Dietrich went from flirting with Candace Kane to nonchalantly admitting that she was dead. Well, I found this question kind of unfair because, as you know, I, I rarely know these new things. I, I rarely leave my house. No. And I died many decades ago. You did. Rue definitely appreciated the performance, but perhaps not as much as we did. So I, I wrote Tomaten, Kartoffeln, and Sauerkraut. That's not a match, but a very, very good answer. Number two. Pearl as Big Ange. Hi, RuPaul. I'm feeling very excited. It goes without saying, but this performance had us feeling very excited. 
Pearl's apparent lack of energy was a big part of her Season 7 storyline. You might even call her attitude flase da. Perhaps that's why her standout performance in the Snatch Game was so surprising. Well, you know what? In my family, we like to do it the old-fashioned way. You gut him like a fish. Her interpretation of Mob Wives star Big Ange, who has since sadly passed away, was consistently funny. And her look was unforgettable. Her responses were also perfectly on brand, and her ad libs were a thing of beauty. What is your bra size? It's a medical mystery. <laughs> Pearl really took things up a notch and showed off some major comedy chops. So we were shocked to see that she wasn't among the week's top queens. I had a rough childhood, okay? I wasn't watching f***ing Batman and Robin. <laughs> Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Ginger Minge as Tammy Faye Baker. We were living, but RuPaul wasn't as impressed. Are you wearing makeup? Just a little chapstick. <laughs> my goodness, you were one of my favorites. I know. <laughs> Ms. Cracker as Dorothy Parker. This queen's wit really got a chance to shine. Hello, Rue. I love spending an evening making jokes with smart and beautiful people, so you can imagine how disappointed I am. Katya as Susie Orman. She nailed the All Stars 2 Snatch Game, but her first showing shouldn't be overlooked. Well, of course, she bangs him, which is exactly what I'd like to do to most of these women here on this panel. <laughs> <laughs> Except. For this one down here, Ms. Donatella, she looks like a skeleton made out of beef jerky. Roxy Andrews as Tamar Braxton. This impression was absolutely full of energy. Tamar Braxton. Get your life. <laughs> What's Tony really like? Girl, who cares? This is my first gig without Tony, and I am so excited. Boom! Naomi Smalls as Wendy Williams. She more than redeemed her season eight snatch game flop. I have a question for you. Oh dear, what is your question? How's LL Cool J? <laughs> I read, I read things. Miss Naomi is serving me Wendy. I'm impressed. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Jocelyn Fox as Teresa Judice. Do you know how to pronounce my last name? I don't. I had a hard time with it. Well, it was Judice. Uh huh. And then I realized it was Judice. Uh huh. But we went all the way back to the old country, and it's actually pronounced. So let me see if I can get it. Johnson. A contestant's fate in this challenge depends not only on their own performance, but also on that of their fellow queens. An otherwise win-worthy showing could be deemed safe one year simply because of strong competition. And season six saw the likes of Ben Delacrem's Maggie Smith, Adore Delano's Anna Nicole Smith, and Bianca Del Rio's Judge Judy on the panel. So Jocelyn Fox's downright hilarious impression of New Jersey housewife Teresa Judice was rather overlooked. However, it was a highlight of the episode. With a nasally and disaffected voice, she nailed every line she came up with. Prostitution horses! Prostitution <laughs> horses! Unfortunately, not a match. Can I have a Pinot Grigio? Pinot Grigio coming right up. Whether asking for a Pinot Grigio or subtly trying to flip the table, Jocelyn helped make this edition of Snatch Game one of the show's best. Coming. <laughs> oh, oh, you mean cumin? Coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's pronounced cumin. Coming. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.